China's new J-31B carrier-based stealth fighter jet is ready to enter military service. India is setting up new villages and habitations in Arunachal Pradesh close to the LAC, that will bolster security civilian infrastructure. During Prime Minister Modi's visit to Russia, India will raise the issue of delay in S-400 deliveries with Russia. Medani Group has successfully formulated a special space-age titanium alloy for the AMCA program. LNT has started construction of AIP integration and testing facility, that will manufacture and supply AIP modules for the Calvary class submarines. Indian Navy's P-8 Ianti submarine aircraft has landed in Joint Base Pearl Harbor Hickam, to take part in RIMPAC 2024 exercise. MKU Limited attended the India-South Korea Defense Collaboration Seminar in Seoul, where they networked with 50 foreign defense companies. The DRDO and LNT has completed initial internal trials of the indigenous Jorawa light tank, and it will be tested in various conditions including summer, winter and high altitude over the next six months, after which the tank will be handed over to the Indian Army for user trials by August 2025, and it is expected to be inducted by 2027. The Jorawa light tank is an amphibious battle tank, that is armed with artificial intelligence, 105mm gun, 12.7mm remote controlled weapon station, 7.62mm coaxial machine gun, laser warning system, NBC protection, tactical surveillance drones, advanced optics from French company Saffron Passio, Nagma, two next generation anti-tank missiles, loitering munition and an active protection system. Medani Group has successfully formulated a special space-age titanium alloy for the AMCA program, that boasts an outstanding combination of tensile strength toughness and creep resistance at elevated temperatures reaching 565 degrees Celsius. These properties make the alloy ideally suited for the high-pressure compressor casing of the AMCA's jet engine, which endures extreme stress and heat during operation. A critical cabinet committee meeting in August is expected to approve the purchase of 100 additional K9 Vag retract self-propelled howitzers. These additional quantities under repeat order, will include the K9 upgraded with high-altitude aerial application as well as existing technologies. The new howitzers are anticipated to be delivered progressively, with all 100 units reaching the Indian Army by 2028. Lockheed Martin has identified two potential Indian partners for the local production of C-130J under the 80 medium transport aircraft program, that includes Tata Lockheed Martin Aerostructures Limited and Hindustan Aeronautics Limited. Lockheed Martin faces competition from European firms Airbus and Embraer, as both the Airbus A400M and Embraer C390 offers larger cargo capacities compared to the C130J. Today's top 3 comments. Oh, my God.